Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Today I was going to do the one that was sent out in our emails on September uh, 3rd, but it's the ones that uh, I've been using frequently. So, uh, I'm going to, again, go back to this Kyoten, The Rebirth of Buddha, and quote from page 100. Today's Words of Wisdom is, Do not complain. Again. Uh, it's similar to the ones that I, the one that I did a couple days ago. Very short, but an extremely important teaching. So allow me to quote uh, two pages of this section, page one hundred. Do not complain. I told you that you must not be angry. I also taught you you must not be envious. And yes, the next thing you must keep yourself away from is complaining. Complaints come out when your desires are not met and they will spread to those around you in the form of discontent and grumbling. For those who practice spiritual training, finding the mind of complaint is also a difficult, virtuous practice. Why do complaints arise? The mind of complaint is caused by the lack of one's own ability. It is caused by the lack of self-confidence. Or you may complain when you are tired. This is natural for human beings. However, when you are tired and want to complain, you should rather remain silent. When you feel like complaining, keep silence and take a deep breath. Then, work to detach yourself from such thought as quickly as you can. Complaint is another poison. It will harm and pollute your surroundings, like scattered trash. A dump yard will immediately form around those who complain, who will deal who will deal with this dump of complaints? Who will clean up the trash that it was thrown out? So you must not complain. If there is no one to clean it up, you yourself who have complained must do something about it. You must deal with the trash yourself. If you cannot do so, you have no choice but to go on living in the dump yard. This is the terrifying thing about complaining. When you feel like complaining, first, encourage your mind. You must uplift, uplift your mind. You must think, I am a far greater person. You must think, I am created by the light of Buddha. You must think, I am endowed with the energy of Buddha. Encourage yourself with much more powerful light. Then, those feelings of complaint will surely leave you. Alright. Um... Do not complain. It's such an important section, and pretty much me reading this section was already the explanation of today's words of wisdom. But um, let me just add one more thing. Um, complaints come when we... Complaints, if you have too much complaints in your hearts, and if you're always saying it, one, you'll lose friends. Two, you'll lose support. Three, it will lead to... Uh, ail ailments, physical ailments or illnesses. So it's literally, it's the only thing it'll do is ha it'll harm you. Maybe momentarily uh, you feel satisfied because you're able to let it out from your chest. It may feel good momentarily, but that's a temporary effect. Uh, because the fact that you said it, the fact that you heard it, and the fact that other people are there to witness your unhappiness, that kind of like accumulates in the subconscious of your own mind and others and it paints you as a person who is a failure who can't accomplish something who doesn't have enough abilities who's always tired and that turns into the perspective how of how you see yourself and how others will see you and it's like you're, lose, you're using the laws of attraction in the wrong direction you're using the power of the mind in the hellish way so as master said silence it's a difficult, virtuous practice. Why is it a virtuous practice? Because it's hard to do. That's why it's virtuous. Same with faith. Having faith is hard. That's why it's virtuous. So um, let us do our best not to complain when we have complaints in our hearts. When we're about to complain, my advice is go back to Master's Kyotens. He's written over 3,000, but there are answers to every type of suffering uh, in these Kyotans, and you will be able to solve your life issues. I promise you that. And then you won't have to complain. You'll learn the wisdom to be able to solve your issues, and then 
you're actually going to be on the side of angels helping other people um, not complain anymore by sharing your wisdom. Love and for today. Sorry, it's a little long, uh, but uh, thanks for tuning in and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.